Hey everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful week. Happy Wednesday. Um, I had a wonderful weekend at the horse show I did that I did my um, previous video about. Um, it was great. Um, but uh, today I actually want to do a, another book review. So this was a quote unquote kind of fun book. Um, so it again, it doesn't have to do with physical fitness, but it does have to do with um, mental fitness, I suppose you could say. Um, now, this wasn't a book that I intended on reading. I didn't, um, I didn't, I actually didn't, I didn't buy it on purpose. I didn't buy it at all. Um, so, do you know, a while back, there were these stories of people getting random things sent to them from Amazon and they had no idea where they came from and it ended up being some weird thing where, um, like random places, like random companies were sending packages to people that they could then like do a review of or something. And it would come up as it had something to do with like fake reviews and, um, and they could like then do a review and say it was like a, a, a verified purchase or whatever, because they actually like sent something to someone, but the person receiving it didn't actually order it. So this happened to us a couple of times. Um, we got some cutting boards um, that I have never used, <laughs> but we got some cutting boards once and um, it was to our address, but to an, like, it wasn't even like a name that it was sent to, but it was to our address. So it was very strange. So we got some cutting boards. We got some um, like, like bug netting, like for, like sort of screen type stuff. It wasn't like, it wasn't, it was like mesh kind of netting, I don't know. Um, and we got this book. And so I was like, what the heck? I'll read it, it sounds interesting. So it's called The Four Agreements, a Toltec wisdom book by Don Miguel Ruz. Um, obviously that's backwards because I have my camera turned around. But um, it actually was pretty good. Um, so, it's about, it has these four, um, they, they call them agreements, four agreements, um, the kind of four rules to kind of live by basically, um, that he says will help you to, um, to live more freely, um, and without undue suffering. Um, uh, he kind of makes the claim that like most of the suffering that happens to us, um, in our lives is our own fault for not being, um, as good as we can be, as open as we can be. Um, and you know, I thought it was actually, I thought it was actually a pretty good little book. And I think there are a lot of people out there that could use reading this. Um, so the four agreements, I will tell you them. One, the first one is to be impeccable with your word. And this is like the kind of overarching, I think, agreement, basically. He says it's the most important one. And it's the one that kind of encompasses the rest of them. Um, and it's basically like tell the truth and, um, and, and speak with integrity because everything you say has an effect on someone else and on yourself. Um, and so to speak um, with as much integrity as you can, and that will help, um, you know, keep other people and yourself, especially from, uh, suffering. The second one is don't take anything personally, which I think is a really good thing to live by. Um, I mean, obviously I think being impeccable with your word is also a good thing. Um, but don't take anything personally. Um, oh, the reason why like being impeccable with your word is like kind of the overarching one is because words in his, in this, in his view are like super important and it's like kind of what everything, all of our interactions with each other are built on essentially. And all the rest of them have to do with words and how they're used around each other. Um, so anyway, so don't take anything personally. Um, because if you take things personally, well, whether it's meant personally or not by the other person, um, if you don't take it personally, it can't affect you. Um, which I think is, you know, makes sense. Um, don't make assumptions, which is also great. Um, uh, because you know what assuming does, 
<laughs> Everyone knows that saying, right? Um, and uh, to always do your best, which I think, man, a lot of people could use that advice right now. Um, and there's a lot in here about how personal responsibility is, is the path towards, um, I, I mean, a lot of these agreements kind of, or, you know, pretty much all of them are basically, you know, I think essentially about taking personal responsibility, taking personal responsibility for what you say to other people, taking personal responsibility for how you interact with other people, how you react to what other people say to you and treat you, um, and taking personal responsibility for your actions and how, and, and how you move in the world. And, and if you do that, and if you do your best and, and, um, then you're, you know, any suffering that you might inflict upon yourself, um, is basically mitigated. Um, so I actually thought it was a nice little book. It's a very quick read. Um, it took me a while only because I read right before bed and I can only read for like 15 minutes before I want, before I fall asleep, but it's a very quick read. You could probably read it in a half, in like, a, you know, an afternoon or something if you just sat and read it. But, um, yeah, I, you know, it was a, I'm glad that it got sent to us randomly <laughs> from whoever, um, so, and, uh, and it doesn't really talk much about the Toltec. It gives a little bit of background on it. I will like fully admit, I know like zero about the Toltec culture or anything. I know nothing about it. Um, so, but if these are the, the, you know, rules and agreements, as they say that, that, um, they live by, then, uh, it's pretty, sounds pretty good to me. Um, I should probably do some reading on that, but anyway, um, yeah, if you want like a good little, like kind of, it's kind of a pick me up. Um, and I, I, the way it's written is a little bit disjointed. Like the, the, the writing itself is, um, is kind of like roundabout, a little bit disjointed, very like kind of almost conversational. Um, but you know, but it, it gets the point across. Um, and, uh, and I liked it. And I think like there are a lot of people out there that could get something from this. So, um, if you want a little like kind of, you know, feel good book, um, this is a good one. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this <laughs> and uh, if you did, please share the video, please subscribe. I'm almost to hundred subscribers. I'm at 99. That's amazing. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel so far. Um, love you all. And uh, you know, leave a comment. If there's a, like a good book that you really love to read, leave a comment. Um, and uh, I uh, hope and you, oh, you can also find me on Instagram and Facebook. I'm not as not as uh, active on Instagram lately, but Instagram and Facebook. And uh, yeah, share this video, subscribe, and uh, I will see you all next time uh, with something fitness related, physical fitness related. So I hope you all have a wonderful week. <laughs> Bye.